What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum, or no, Leaf Green Walkthrough. <laughs> I just messed up right there. Anywho, if you guys are wondering what our next Pokemon is going to be, yes, you guys wondered it and you guys finally figured it out. Yes, it's Nidoran Male, and if you guys don't remember, I did have Nidoran Male when I had him uh, in my original Pokemon Leaf Green Walkthrough. And it took me quite a while to actually try and find this guy right here. It really it really was hard to just find him. It's a pretty rare Pokemon right here. Um, I actually captured its female counterpart, and I kind of wanted to, like, you know, maybe just maybe use him on my team. I don't know, guys. I don't know what possessed me, but I kind of feel like Nidoran Male is a better fit. And as you can see, it's a little tough to get. I don't want him to make a faint right now, so let's see. I can throw one more Pokeball at it, but I don't want to risk losing all my Pokeballs right now. Alright, so here we go. Stay in there. Stay in there! Yeah! So there you go, guys. We got ourselves our next teammate right here on my team, Nidoran Male. And let's go ahead and read its uh, data right now. So let's see. Nidoran Male, the poison Pokemon. It stiffens its ears to sense danger. The larger its horns, the more powerful its secreted venom. Oh, damn poisonous Pokemon right there. So, as you guys already know, we already have a nickname for this Pokemon. If you guys don't remember, Pokemon Yellow, yes, I did have him there, and I'm going to be calling him the one, the only, Thrasher. And if you guys are wondering what I called his female counterpart, call her Smasher. <laughs> I might use her. Maybe. I don't know. I kind of want to use her on my team at some point in a walkthrough. I don't even know. I could. I don't even know. So, uh, there you go guys, our next teammate, Smasher, or Thrasher, <laughs> Thrasher, yes, Thrasher is on our team, so I'll be back in just a little bit, guys. What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and uh, yes, let's do this properly. Welcome to my Leaf Green walkthrough right here, and uh, well, you just saw that we captured our next teammate, and uh, well, let's go ahead and check a look at this Pokemon right here. As you can see, Thrasher, level 6, poison type Pokemon. It has an impinch nature. Impinch late nature. Can't even say that right. And uh, let's see. Uh, its stats are pretty well. Pretty good. Its attack, its physical attack is pretty good right there. It's just its special attack's not all that great. And of course, its ability is Poison Point. And it does have two moves, which is Pack and Leer. I always hated the. I always hated the order of both Leer and Pack. I'm probably just going to change that up right here. Now, before we go into Mount Moon, there are one or two things that I want to do. I want to talk to this guy right here. He's like, Team Rocket attacks Cerulean citizens? Not a day goes by without Team Rocket being in the news. Huh. So that's just like a little foreshadowing of what might happen here. And if you read this, it's a newspaper. And that's it. That's not really a newspaper. That's a clipboard. But the big one right here, too, is if you talk to this gentleman in the corner... He's like, hello there, laddie. Have I got a deal just for you? I'll let you have a secret Pokemon, a Magikarp, for $500. So, will you buy it? Am I right? Well, you know, you guys already know that Magikarp is not my favorite Pokemon. It's not anybody's favorite Pokemon. I mean, in YouTube, I, I actually seen... Magikarp only walkthroughs and stuff, and it's hilarious. But you guys already know that Magikarp evolves into a Gyarados, and uh, why bother not getting them right now? Shoot, it's just $500 that you'll regain. Money comes and goes, but Pokemon are forever, right, guys? So there we go. We just got ourselves another Magikarp, a new Magikarp, and you guys already know what his name is going to be. His name is uh, Hydra. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Holy crap. Draven's going to use this Pokemon on his team. No, not really. If you guys haven't watched my original walkthrough, my original Leaf Green walkthrough, I've never used a Gyarados on my team, so Hydra, this Hydra right here is going to stay put in the PC. I might train him, all that stuff, and, you know, use him eventually here and there, you know, that kind of stuff. But there is another Pokemon that I do want to get just because, you know, it's a little bit of a nostalgia kind of effect right there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to deposit this uh, Magikarp or Hydra and let's go ahead and just take care of business over at uh, Mount Moon. And, uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay, so we're in Route 4 and we're just going to be going straight to Mount Moon. As you can see, bam. It's glorious in all its thing. Now, the only, the only problem is that we don't have a Repel. I don't think we can buy repels just yet, or we don't even have the money for it. And uh, we're going to be getting attacked by a bunch of Pokemon right here, which is annoying because 
yeah, it's it's a whole bunch of Zubats right here. Now Zubats, very very good Pokemon to actually have on your team if you don't have another Poison type Pokemon. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually grab this TM09, which is Bullet Seed. Use that for your Grass type Pokemon if you guys actually did uh, capture yourself or get yourself a uh, Grass type Pokemon. And as you can see, these Zubats are never ending. Oh my God, this guy wants us to capture them. All right, so let's see. First is first. Uh, you know what? For the Pokemon battle, I want to actually use a uh, Thrasher first, but I'm not going to be using it for Pokemon battles or Pokemon Pokemon battles. And as you can see, we got ourselves a Paralysis Heal, and uh, well, we got ourselves our first Challenger. So, good thing, uh, good thing Thrasher does have a uh, a Peck attack right there. So let's go ahead and switch it out and talk to this guy right here. And he's like, "Suspicious men are in the cave. What about you? Not really suspicious." No, I'm more of a... I'm just trying to get through, just trying to make a little bit of a living, just defeating everybody, winning Pokemon battles and all that stuff. And here he comes out with the Weedle and uh, Thrasher's first battle using a uh, Peck attack. And uh, it's not very effective, and luckily for us, poison type Pokemon don't get... Yeah, they don't get uh, they don't get poisoned by poison Pokemon, if you guys get what, what I'm saying. So there we go, poison attacks here and there. And that Peck attack is just going to do wonders for us right here and uh poison sting not very effective here we go peck attack again nearly makes this pokemon faint so let's try and finish this off come on and uh not so effective right there it's just taking one hp every single time but as you can see we defeated this level 11 weedle and gained a bunch of experience points look at that or for thrasher it's a lot of experience points come on another level nearly grows and Easy pickings right here. He's coming out with a Kakuna, so I'm going to stay with Thrasher. The goal is to try and evolve Thrasher as many times as possible, because remember, <laughs> it evolves into a very strong Nido King too. And, uh, well, let's see. I'm going to go with this. And he's coming out with a Harden. Ah, jeez. Man, why had this suck? All right, here we go. Back attack. It's going to take a while, guys. I know, it, it's probably going to prolong my episode right here, but you know what? It is what it is. So here we go. Peck attack. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Come on. Finish him off right here. And there we go. Critical hit. Thrasher getting some right here. There we go. And uh, look at that. Thrasher grows to level 8. And it's learning. Oh, okay. Focus energy. It's a very good move. And uh, look at that. Level 9. Easy. Okay. And so that ends uh, Book Catcher Kent's. Reign of Terror here. All right. So what does he have to say? I saw them. I'm sure they're from Team Rocket. Oh damn. Okay. All right. So let's see. Next Pokemon on the list right here. I, I think I should switch them out too. Um, let's go with Pig Hammer because remember, I remember. Like remember, I've played this game plenty of times and I know what these guys are coming out with. And I'm pretty sure she's coming out with the Clefairy right here. So let's go ahead and talk. What? I'm waiting for my friends to find me here. Mm-hmm. All righty. So. Round two, fight. And she only has one Pokemon, so she's gonna be coming out with her Clefairy, so let's do this, Pig Hammer. Um, low kick attack. Oh, yes. Very, very good damage, and. <laughs> this Clefairy screwed herself badly. Okay. Alright, let's go with the low kick. And that is how you do it. <laughs> wow. It's like you can tell the future. And uh, Pig Hammer grows to level 13. Good stuff right there. And uh, Iris, not so happy right now. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's move on right here. Beware, Zubat is a bloodsucker. That is true. That is very, very true. Alright, so let's move on right here. And uh, let's see, there's a... Oh, there's some stairs right there. And of course, we're going to be attacked by some Pokemon. Why not? And, uh, well, let's see... Pick hammer. I don't. I don't want anything of that too back. I, I can actually capture it whenever I want, but I'm not gonna capture it right here. So, moving on. We're in Mount Moon, traveling the whole world and whatever. I hope you guys are enjoying my Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough. Yes, yes. Now, just to address uh, a little something that happened a week or two ago. Don't know when this uh, video is gonna come out. I did come out with the original Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough. Uh, with an original intro and all that stuff, uh, featuring Power Glove, the gotta catch 'em all, uh, gotta catch 'em all, what you call it? Uh, 
theme song. And unfortunately, I, I can't use it. I got copyrighted, so I have to use the I have to use another intro, which you guys are seeing right now, or which you guys have been seeing uh, within episode two till four. So yeah, that just tells me a little something about YouTube. It's gotten stricter and stricter. I've never had any issues with YouTube as a you know when it comes to copyright and everything, but that really kind of just uh, put a damper on my little uh, my little parade right here because you know I kind of wanted to bring a little nostalgia for for everybody who actually followed me since the very beginning and uh, yeah thanks a lot YouTube and uh, right now I'm not doing so well with Sandshrew right here and uh, well, a lot of you guys are saying maybe that's why you should have used a grass type or a water type Pokemon and look at that critical hit <laughs> suck it and look at that Godzilla grows to level 16 you guys know what that means and uh, well let's see he's coming out with the Rattata I might as well go with the man the myth the legend Pig Hammer. Oh, yes. Project Pig Hammer. May you rest in peace, Static. Wayne Static. And uh, let's go with the Karate Chop. And of course, you gotta have a quick attack here first, huh? So there we go. See? When you know the outcome of the. Or when you know what Pokemon he's dishing out, I got the I got the solutions. And he's gonna be coming out with a Zubat. Let's go with Aaliyah. You know, my niece watched the first two episodes and she loved it. Um, she's telling me that she'll be here in a, in a week or two, or well, I don't even know, but we'll, we'll be recording some episodes just to uh, get her boys in, and that way you guys can meet her and all that stuff. I don't know, but she's, she's very excited, especially with the Pokemon that I named after her, and uh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, she, she's very, very excited. She's just becoming a mini Pokemon fan, and I am happy about that. I wish my kids... I wish my kids were like her, or, you know, I wish I had kids like her, which I will eventually. I don't have any kids. I don't even know how to say that. So, anywho, we defeat the Team Rocket member right here, and look at that. Godzilla is finally evolving. Now, normally we evolve this Pokemon at the at the Pewter City Gym, but, you know, you know what happened right there. Yeah, it, it didn't go well. And, uh, well, might as well do it right here in Mount Moon. And uh, look at that. Godzilla grows into Charmeleon, the most powerful Pokemon, and uh, doesn't learn anything. Let's see what he has to say. Darn it all! My associates won't stand for this! Yeah, of course. Eddie, let's go ahead and check out our Godzilla. Godzilla, he's grown to Charmeleon, and uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's a lot more faster than usual. Um, its special attack is, is right there. It's on point. It's good. Okay, alrighty. And, uh, well, let's just move on right here and uh, grab an item that is a star piece, which you can actually sell for a nice amount of chump change. And, uh, let's see. Could be wrong. Oh, no. Yeah, you can actually find Geodudes right here, too, guys. And, uh, do not want to battle that. And, uh, let's see. I think there's a hidden item here somewhere. Let's see. Let's see. No, no. No, there's. Yeah, wrong, wrong room right there, guys. Okay. Alrighty, so uh, as far as Pokemon is concerned, you can actually find Geodudes, uh, Zubats, uh, Paris, and the most rarest Pokemon of them all, Clefairy, right here. Um, will I capture any of these Pokemon? Yes, I will. Zubat, mostly. And, uh, well, let's see. Who is next right here? So we're already out of that part. And there's a Pokemon trainer right here somewhere. There's two of them. Alrighty. Um... You gotta love those Zubats right there. Let's see. Switch them out right here. And, uh, well, the guy here is coming out with the Magnemite. So I'm gonna do this, get ourselves a potion, and uh, battle this guy before getting attacked by another Pokemon right here. I should have bought Repels. They sold them. I don't even know. Alright, switch them out right here. Alright, so let's, let's go ahead and take this guy on. What? Don't sneak up on me! Okay. Alrighty, bring it on, guys. Bring it on. So Super, Nor or Super Nerd Jovan wants a battle, and he's coming out with the Magnemite. Luckily for us, we do have uh, Fire-type Pokemon, and Steel-types are in existence right here. So here we go. Ember attack, and uh, that's right. That's how you do it. We defeated Magnemite with a very useful attack, and he's coming out with the Voltorb. So, let's see. Let's go with Thrasher right here. I, I want to train him up so he can actually evolve twice in this episode. Hopefully we can. 
If not, then, uh, you know, there's always next episode. So let's see. Peck attack is not really going to work against an electric type attack or electric type Pokemon. So here we go. Peck attack doesn't do a single thing. So we're going to switch out to Project Pick Hammer right here. And, uh, alrighty. Going for a Screech attack. I already know that this is going to, yeah, this is going to be bad right here. So let's go with the Karate Chop. And that takes a nice chunk, and let's go again with another Karate Chop. There we go, Pig Hammer. That is how you do it. And uh, everybody's getting experience points. Thrasher grows to level 10, which is good. And Jovan's been defeated. He's like, my Pokemon won't do. That's right. All right, so let's move on right here. There's more items. There's more people to battle, you know. Let's see. We found ourselves a rare candy that could be useful for for our Pokemon Thrasher, and you know what? I know there's a Bug Trainer right here, so let's spread the wealth. Let's get Tornado in the mix here and uh, battle some more Pokemon, or wild Pokemon. God dang it with these Zubats. All right, getting out of there, and uh, let's move on right here. You need to go through this cave to get Cer to Cerulean City. That is true. That is true, my friend. Okay, so... Here we go, the next challenger, Bug Catcher Robbie, and he's coming out with his Caterpie. And I'm coming out with Thrasher. That's right. Alright, Peck Attack. We're gonna Peck Attack everybody. Until they all faint. And, uh, well, you gotta... <laughs> the String Shot. You gotta love the String Shot right there. So let's go another... And, oh yeah, we're slow. We're very slow right now, but... Here we go, Peck Attack again, and that does the trick. Alrighty. Thrasher. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's coming out with the Metapod. Non-threatening bug tap Pokemon, so let's go ahead and just uh, take our time and defeat him with the Peck Attack. It should uh, it should be awesome right here. So here we go, Peck Attack again. And hopefully we get a critical hit right here. Uh, come on. Don't be like that. I could go with Charmeleon. I really could, but yeah. <laughs> Mission is to evolve Thrasher right now, and uh, this... This Metapod right here is making it hard for me. Come on. Pack attack again. Now, I know that I have Leer, but that won't work because it's just, it, well, it's just defeating the purpose of trying to, de well, trying to beat Metapod because its only move is Harden. And, uh, well, there you go. That's right. And Thrasher grows to level 11. And, all right, it's going to come out with another Caterpie. So I'm going to stay with Thrasher right here. And uh, we'll see what happens. Let's see, let's go with Peg Attack. Oh yeah, bring it. And uh, yeah, String Shot. You gotta love String Shot because it always makes my Pokemon slow. And uh, there you go, super effective. And uh, okay, go ahead. I don't care. Peg Attack again for the win. Suck at Caterpie. And uh, there we go. Nearly grows a level. Good God. Okay. All right. We'll get that one back. All right. So let's move on right here. Find a few items. You know, there's a lot of items here. Just make sure to grab them. And make sure to buy yourself some items. You know, uh, potions, rep repels, antidotes, that kind of stuff. You know, it will all work out. Now, if you talk to this guy here. Hi, I'm excavating for fossils here under Mount Moon. Sometimes Brock of the Pewter City Gym lends me a hand. Oh, okay. That's good. Now that could be uh, for your fame checker once you get it, and then uh, I know that there's somebody here, and uh, <laughs> you gotta love Zubats. Ah, eh, you know what? I can't do it right here. I, I really would like to get the level, but I don't want to waste any more time. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to switch it up to Tornado. That way I can get some loving right here, and stop moving. It's not even running. Wow, it's way bigger in here than I thought! Yes, it is. That's exactly what she said. <laughs> Anywho, last Miriam wants the battle, and she's coming out with an Oddish. And, uh, Tornado, let's do this. Alrighty. Of course, it does have Peck Attack. Even levels. Takes a nice one. And, uh, don't forget that Absorb Attack. Mm-hmm. Alrighty, here we go. Let's finish this guy off right here with... Apex attack. You got it. There we go. Tornado's kicking some ass right now, and uh, look at that. He grows to level 12. 
much needed level right there. And uh, it's gonna come out with the Bell Sprout. Yes, I am going to switch out. I'm gonna go with Thrasher right here because I feel like Bell Sprout's the less of uh, the lesser of two evils, the less you know, kind of a. Uh, uh, kind of moves that will paralyze or poison your Pokemon, and there you go, Peck Attack again, and there's that Rap Attack that, you know, back in Generation 1 was, uh, completely broken right here, so let's go, Peck Attack again, and there we go, Bellsprout has been defeated, <laughs> and bam, Thrasher grows to level 12, and it's learned Double Kick, okay, alrighty, so we're working with something now, Actually has a it actually has another move, a better move, especially for Rock type Pokemon. Now what I'm going to do right here is I gotta heal up my Pokemon. Let's see how many potions. Oh, four potions! Wow, I really didn't stock up. <laughs> okay, so it's a good thing that I'm actually uh, spreading the wealth right here instead of just shower, just doing it or showering it all on one Pokemon right here. So going down here, we're gonna find ourselves in another room, and uh, let's see. What Pokemon does this, does this guy have? Oh, okay. All right. I have a feeling that this guy has a Zubat somewhere. So, Sparky, or no, not Sparky, but Aaliyah is going to kick some butt right here. And, uh, yeah! You gotta love these goddamn Zubats. Oh, my God. <sighs> Run away. Run away, baby. Run away. Okay, so we grabbed ourselves a TM-46, which is Thief. And, uh, well, we're gonna be battling this guy right here, and he's like, We're pulling a big job here! Get lost, kid! Eh, uh, why won't you make me? Alrighty, so here we go. Team Rocket Grunt would like to battle, and he's coming out with his Zubat. Alrighty. It's a norm, I guess. And, uh, let's go with a Thundershock. Alrighty. Thundershock. It takes a lot. Doesn't paralyze him, but here's a, here comes the Leech Life. And... Uh, does it do it? No, it doesn't. It just strains a little bit. Here we go again. Thundershock for the win. Oh, yes. Zubat eliminated. Fatality. That's right. And uh, Crud. Leon nearly grows a level. This guy's coming out with Ekans. So let's go with uh, let's go with Godzilla Godzilla right here because it seems to be the one that, you know, can actually defeat him quicker. And, uh, well, it's a little bit stronger too. Alright, and of course, Ekans does have the Intimidate uh, intimidate effect, so it lowers my my regular attack just a little bit. So here we go, special attacker all the way. Uh-oh, poison type. And crud, I am poisoned. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jeebus. Did I bring an antidote? Please tell me I brought an antidote. Or did I use an antidote? I, I don't know. And uh, there we go, Godzilla Godzilla wins. Ready. Okay, so let's go ahead and check my bag. And yes, I do have three antidotes, which is always good. So there we go. I'm just going to press B. Don't care about that. And uh, let's see. Found ourselves an ether, which could be used to raise the PPs. Or no, just uh, restore the PPs on your Pokemon. And uh, let's see. This guy is waiting for us. So let's go switch him back to Thrasher right here. And uh, here we go. Did you come to explore the cave too? Yes, I did. Alrighty. Bring it on. Homeboy here, youngster Josh would like to battle, and he's coming out with his Ratata. Ratatata. And here comes Thrasher. And uh, good for us because we have double kick now. And uh, there we go, that's one kick. And here's two kick. There we go, you see? Easy, easy. Oh yes. And uh, there we go. Hello, level 13. Okay, we're all right on pace. And he's coming out with the Radita, so... You know what? I'm going to stick with him. Again, I said our mission is to go to Evolve Thrasher twice, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to do double kick. Double kick. That's right. Eat it. Eat it. Radita ta ta Oh, yes. And, uh, well, that's... Okay. And he's coming. To, he's gonna come out with the Zubat. So I'm going to switch him out. Let's go with Aaliyah. Come on, baby. Oh, she's gonna love this. She's dominating everything. Oh yes. Here we go. This Thunder Shock attack. Remember when Thunder Shock was like powerful in the anime? Now it's like Thunderbolt and Thunder and Wild Charge and a whole bunch of Z moves. <laughs> yeah, I just found out about Z moves, guys. And you're paralyzed. You fucked up. 
Alrighty, here we go. Thundershock. Let's do this for the win. And that is how you do it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And there we go. Aaliyah grows to level 11. Very good move. And it's trying to learn Quick Attack. So that's a that's another plus for us right here. So let's go ahead and take away Growl. Don't really need it. Not in competition or anything like that. And there we go. Learned Quick Attack. Spreading the wealth everywhere. That's right, Josh. Losing stinks. It's so uncool. It is. It really is. Anywho, let's move on right here. I don't really need to talk to you. You're, be you're beneath me. And, uh, well, of course, the Pokemon, the wild Pokemon uh, thing otherwise. And uh, here comes a Zubat. And I am going to run away because I, don't, I, 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 don't, I just don't want to battle you. So before we battle this guy, there is a little something here that's very important. And that is a Moonstone. One of, uh, I think, four, maybe five. I can't remember how many Moonstones are here in Pokemon Leaf Green, but there's quite a few, and, uh, yeah, you gotta love the Zubats. I really do. I'm running away. I don't need to battle you at all, even though I would like to have you on my team. And so he sees us. He's like, whoa, you shocked me. Oh, you're just a kid. Yes, I am. In, uh, in the Pokemon game. So here we go. My Heiko, oh, Hiker Marcos wants to battle, and he's coming out with the Geodude. Couldn't even say that right. And Thrasher, let's do this. Double kick. Pick the right moves. And uh, we got to take into consideration that Geodude does have some very good defenses. And this guy's coming with a tackle attack. So let's go again. Double attack or double kick. And that is how you do it. Oh, yes. That is how you do it. Nearly grows to level 14. And I'm going to keep on going right here. Let's go, Thrasher. Let's do this. So here we go, double kick attack, come on, oh yes, that's right, that is how you do it, alrighty, okay, and there you go, Thrasher's at level 14, which is also good, We're just two, two, uh, two levels close, and uh, you know, this actually could do it for us, because we still have a rare candy, so let's go right ahead and use that double kick, let's do it. Nearly makes him faint. Don't do anything stupid. He's doing the bind attack. Well, let's go again. There we go. Try this again. Oh, yes. And... Well, what do you know? Onyx defeated and... Oh, nearly... Ah, oh, crud. He's like, wow, shocked again. So, we were close. We were very, very close. Uh, that's, you know, well, I guess that's part of the game right there. So, we're going to continue on right here. Now, before I go into any other battles, I would like to talk about a few of the comments that you guys have posted. Uh, one, one, that, one comment that was very, very, uh, that stood out to me the most in my episode two was uh, from, let's see, John Ver 98 I think, that, that's, I think that's what it is right there. John Ver 98 He said, "Bro, walkthroughs really re your walkthroughs really remind me of the old school LPs, YouTube, and I love it. Nose layout, sidebars is actually much more appealing to my eyes, which is true. That's what I'm trying to do right here. And look at that Thrasher at level 15. Well, that's one of the that was one of the goals uh, going into this walkthrough right here. Uh, go back to the basics and uh, Pokemon. Yeah, Pokemon Leaf Green was going back to the basics." Uh, at the time, I didn't know how to do any uh, layouts, backgrounds, and everything. Everything I learned was through YouTube and through other YouTubers out there. And uh, before I go on any further, it's time, guys. Level 16. There we go. Oh, yeah. Root Candy to Thrasher. And it's at level 16. And look at that. It's finally evolving, so... We've accomplished that mission, guys, to evolve him into a Nidoran male or Nidora Nidorino, and then evolve him into a Nido King. And that was the whole plan all, all along, guys. So as you can see, hello. Hello, Nidorino. It's a very easy Pokemon to actually have. I actually wanted to use Nido Nidorina. The thing was that it, it, I, I kind of went against it because it didn't have Peck, and we were going to go up against a few Pokemon here and there that, you know, had you know, that, were, that was going to make it easy for Thrasher right here. So as you can see, Nidorino, its stats are pretty much even now, except for special attack. 
its main focus is its, its physical attack right there. Now, watch this. Now that we have a Moonstone, we can actually evolve him one more time, and it wouldn't, wouldn't even matter right now. So here we go. Let's try this again. Oh, yes. Moonstone was used on Thrasher. And look at that. Say hello to my fully evolved Pokemon right now. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. And this is going back uh, to day one, the very first walkthrough that I've ever made, guys. I actually did the same thing right here. And, uh, well, as you can see, Thrasher has evolved into Nidoking. All righty. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at its stats now. Let's see. Nidoking. Now it's both a poison and ground type Pokemon. And, uh, as you can see, its special attacks... Its special attack went a little bit higher, its defense is higher, its physical attack is all the way up there, but the most important part here is that it now gains a ground type capability, which makes it so much easier for us to go up against Lucianus Surge once we battle him. So, let's see, um, who is the next trainer that we're going to have to face? Uh, Geodude, oh, Rattata, okay, so let's go ahead and, uh, let's see, I think we do have a few TMs here that we can actually use on this guy now. Let's see, oh, Rock Tomb, look at that. Alright, so I'm going to teach uh, Thrasher Rock Tomb, even though Pig Hammer can learn it. But remember, guys, we're not going to keep all these Pokemon here. Some of them are going to be switched. Some of them are going to, you know, they're going to come back here and there. It's just, it, it, it's just how I want to do the walkthrough. And there you go. Thrasher learns Rock Tomb. And then who can learn Bullet Seed? Nobody. Okay, so I do have a Pokemon in mind for that one right there. So, like I was saying, um... Yeah, uh, that was the whole plan going on to the going into this walkthrough right here, guys. Just to give you guys a little bit of a, a nostalgia, uh, if you, like going, you know, if you guys know what I mean. Because when I first started, didn't really know much. I only wanted to just make walkthroughs, get big, you know, entertain all of you guys. Didn't know it was going to be to this extent right here. Didn't even know that I was going to be here for this long. And I'm actually glad that I am because you know, 10 years I can look back and just uh, and, and just like look. I can just look back and say that, man, I've grown and I've learned a lot uh, doing these walkthroughs. And one of them is actually, you know, redoing the Pokemon uh, Leaf Green walkthrough without any kind of layouts. Um, that, and I, I kind of want to make it as simple as possible for me. That way, you know, I can get this walkthrough finished in time. Because as many of you guys already know, I do have a, <laughs> I do have a, a tendency to pull the trigger very, very quickly. I tend to take a long time on my walkthroughs, and I tend to come out with multiple walkthroughs just because, you know, I'm very, very impatient. Um, but it's that's not the case right here, and you know what? I'm going to start capturing some of these Pokemon right here. Not really. <laughs> okay, so that was uh, Nido King kicking some ass right there. Never mind! I'll eventually capture some Pokemon right there, and, oh, wait, grab that. And here we go, revive. Okay, so we're going to be running around here and taking on Team Rocket and uh, battling this guy right here. Little kids shouldn't be messing around with grown-ups. It could be bad news. Okay, whatever. Jesus, okay. Team Rocket Grunt would like to battle, and he's going to come out with his ra -ta, ta ta And I'm coming out with Thrasher. Alrighty. So, there we go. Thrasher with a double kick. Finishes off this Pokemon. You see how powerful it gets after you evolve them? Very, very powerful. So I'm actually glad that I captured this Pokemon in the beginning. And, uh, well, he's coming out with the Sand Shrew. So I'm going to come out with my Godzilla Godzilla. Alrighty. Anywho, guys. Um, if you guys have any questions whatsoever. I've been meaning to say this for quite some time. If you guys have any questions about me. Uh, what... You know, simple questions is like what inspired me to go through YouTube, this, this, and that. Comment down below. If you guys have a question about uh, anything about me, comment down below because I will be starting up a new section called uh, Dra or Ask Draven. That way you guys can get to know me just a little bit more. I know that I've been a little bit more reserved over the years. But, you know, again, 10 years of Draven. I think you guys should know a little, uh, a little bit more about me. And uh, what inspired me to go into Pokemon uh, walkthroughs and whatnot. So comment down below, guys. You know, if you want to ask a question here and there. If not, then, you know, screw you. <laughs> Just blind. And here we go with another Geodude. And, uh, well, I'm 
gonna run away right here. I'm, I'm not really not trying to capture any Pokemon right here. And uh, well, let's, of course, uh, no repels around here. You know what would be a dick move for the uh, for the uh, Pokemon creators if uh, if they put a repel at the very end of this whole thing. That would be the biggest dick move ever. Oh God, I hate you. I hate you all. And uh, well. That's a Clefairy. It's a rare Pokemon, so I'm gonna try and capture it. And crud, I fell in love with this goddamn Pokemon. Oh god. And uh, you are now po poisoned. Okay, okay, so you're hurt by poison. Uh, you know what, I should hit it one more time, but this goddamn Clefairy. There we go. And. Uh, <laughs> wow! Okay, so I may have been messed up right here because I don't think I have a yeah I don't have, I don't think I have an awakening and if I do capture this Pokemon I'm okay there it is yeah okay let's go Pokeball let's do this trust me guys I am not going to keep this Pokemon on my team it's just for the rarity of the Pokemon stay in there yes that's right that's right. There we go, Clefairy, the fairy Pokemon. With its magical and cute appeal, it has many admirers. It is uh, it is rare and found only in certain areas, which is true. Eh, okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, nickname it something. Let's see, it's a female, so let's go. Let's go with cute fairy. Again, I. I I'm not really good with the whole uh, nicknaming, but you know what? It is whatever. So, cute fairy, how's it going? Now that it's part of our team, um, I have to use a, I have to use an antidote. So let's go ahead and use that. That way it doesn't faint on me. Alrighty. So it. Okay. So there we go. And then, do I have an awakening here? No, I don't. Crud. Okay. So uh, that is not good news for my Thrasher. So. Let's go with Pig Hammer right here, uh, and uh, let's go finish this whole thing off right now. And uh, good God, we need repels! Oh God, I hate you, Zubats. All right, I'm just gonna get away because I don't want to mess with a Zubat right now. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. There's okay, none of my Pokemon, and let's go ahead and take on this guy. We, Team Rocket, shall find the fossils. Reviving Pokemon from them will earn us huge riches. See, that's the, the original gangster Pokemon right there, and uh, here we go, Team Rocket Grunt coming out with his Ratatata, and I'm coming out with my Pikamamummer, and here we go, Karate Chop, mm-hmm, that's how you do it, alrighty, that was easy, and uh, he's gonna come out with a Zubat, so let's go straight to our good old buddy, Aaliyah, oh, I, I Seriously, guys, I can't wait to bring my niece onto this, uh, onto this episode, or into an, in an episode of the Pokemon Leaf Green, just so, just so you guys can meet her. She's currently in Hawaii right now, being, uh, being a little dork, but when she comes back, hell yes, we're gonna have a lots of fun recording episodes. I don't know how many episodes we're gonna record, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna just be one. And there you go. That's right. That's how you do it. Aaliyah's d taking care of business. And Team Rocket Grunt has been defeated. He's like, now I'm mad. Yes, you are mad. And, uh, let's see. You made me mad, Team Rocket. We'll blacklist you. I wonder what that would... Yeah, like, I really wonder what that means. All right, so, moving on. Let's see. There's a hidden item right here. And it's eluded me for, like, the past 15 years. But there is another Moonstone right here, guys. It just, you know... I had to find out, out like, uh, through another Pokemon trainer. And, uh... Here we have another Pokemon, Geodude. You know what? I'm gonna try and capture it. Alrighty. Super effective, defense curl. Alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty. Let's go. Uh, let's get Pokeball. We got one more. Come on. Stay in there. Stay in the ball. Stay in the freaking ball. Yes. And that is how you do it, guys. You capture yourself a Geodude, and uh, look at that, Geodude, the rock Pokemon. Found in fields and mountains, mistaking them for boulders, people often tri uh, step or trip on them. That's a <laughs> funny, uh, that is a funny entry. 
I'm just gonna call you Dude. Oh, you know what? Yeah, yeah, you know what? Yeah, Dude. Dude Rock. I'm gonna call him Dude Rock over... Kinda reminds me of the wrestler Dude Love, you know, Mick Foley. Mankind. Cactus Jack. That's right. The king of hardcore and everything. You guys are into wrestling. Um, let's see. So, this guy is probably going to come out with the Grimer. So, I'm going to switch him up to Godzilla right here. And I'm going to make him do the rest right now. So, here we go. Hey, stop! I found these fossils. They're both mine. Whatever. Whatever, dude. Let's do this. So, here goes Super Nerd Miguel coming out with his Grimer. And I'm gonna be coming out with Godzilla. Godzilla. Let's go. Ember attack. And uh, that does a little bit of damage. Here we go again. Ember attack. Nearly makes that guy faint. And there's that disable attack. And uh, okay, now we're gonna have to go old school right here. Scratch attack for the win. Oh yeah. That's how you do it. And uh, he's gonna come out with the coughing. So you know what? Let's just keep it right here. Let's keep it with the. Uh, Godzilla kicking everybody's butt. Um, let's go steal with Metal Claw. Okay, and uh, okay, so we gotta, yeah, we have to be careful with that one right there. So let's go scratch attack. Hopefully that does nothing. And oh crud, oh crud. Ah uh, Jesus! Please don't be poisoned. Please don't be poisoned. And he's poisoned. God dang it. Okay, this is gonna be tough. Metal Claw. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. And, uh, you gotta hate that smog attack. Ooh. Godzilla, don't faint. Please do not faint on me. Let's go. Disabled no more. Alrighty. Let's go. Ember attack. You know, this could have all been avoided if I had that Ember attack. And look at that. Level 18. He worked hard for this one. And he's going to come out with a Voltorb, so I'm not going to risk it. Let's go straight to Pick Hammer, or to Thrasher, I should say. Let's go. And hello, hello. 40 minutes already. God dang. Alrighty, so I know I'm asleep, but I'm just going to press the button and just, you know, wait till I wake up. He's bound to wake up sometime. And, uh, God dang you, Voltorb. You're being a dick right now. And, uh, let's go. Again, asleep. And uh, there's that screech attack. It's not gonna work. It really isn't. Go ahead. Do do your worst. And here we go. Rock Tomb misses. Oh god. And don't worry, guys. Voltorb's charge not doing anything because it doesn't know any kind of electric attacks just yet. And here we go. Rock Tomb. Oh yes. Takes him out with a critical hit, and that is how you win a match. Thrasher, you are a godsend. Yes. He's like, okay, I'll share. Whatever. Greedy. Okay, so after defeating him, he's like, well, we'll take a fossil each. No being greedy. All right. So you got a selection of two fossils right here. You got the dome fossil, which will eventually become Kabuto. And, uh, crud. Not that. You got yourself a Zubat. And, yeah, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> Gotta heal up my Godzilla, Godzilla. And the next fossil is the Helix fossil, which will eventually become uh, Ominite. And, uh, well, since we're not going to be... Well, I don't think we're, we're going to be able to trade... I don't think we're going to be able to trade in this walkthrough, which, you know, frankly, I really don't mind. Going to the basics right here. Um, I might as well get uh, this Pokemon right here, Helix fossil. And eventually, once you get to Fuchsia City, you'll be able to get the information for Kabuto. And, uh, yeah. So, as you can see, he gets the Kabuto fossil right there. And he's saying, Far away on Cinnabar Island, there's a Pokemon lab. They do research on regenerating fossils, which is also true. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. Alrighty. And grab this. We found ourselves an antidote. And, uh, another Pokemon wants to attack us. Jeez, I would really love to capture you, Paris, but I don't have a Pokeball. I really don't. So I'm gonna have to come back here a little a little bit later on. And uh, here we go, we're getting out. Fresh air, finally! So here we are in Route 4, and yes, I'm actually gonna be walking straight to uh, Cerulean City just so I can uh, 
just talk to everybody right here. Now, if you come right here, you're gonna see two, two individuals that are feuding over uh, a type of attack, a punch and a kick. So if you talk to this guy, he's like, a punch of roaring ferocity, packed with destructive power. When the chips are down, Mega Punch is the ultimate attack. You agree, uh, yes? Now, let me teach it to your Pokemon. Well, I may have one or two Pokemon that can, uh, yeah, I may have one or two Pokemon that can learn that. So let's go ahead and uh, find a find a Pokemon that it needs attack. Okay, so in this game right here, Pokemon Leaf Green and Fire Red, you will be able to find individuals that will be able to teach your Pokemon certain moves. These are one of them, and as you can see, five out of the six Pokemon that I have can learn this move. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to teach Mega Punch to Godzilla because it's going to be a while before, before it learns an, act an actual good move. And uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and take away Scratch. It's not that effective anymore. And yeah. And then Mega Kick, it can, somebody else can learn that stuff. He's like, now we are comrades in the way of punching. You should go before you see, you're see uh, you seen by the misguided fool who trains only in his silly kicking over there. Okay. I'm gonna go anyways. A kick, a brutal, uh, a kick of brutal ferocity, packed with destructive power. When you get right down to it, Mega Kick is the ultimate attack. Don't you agree? Okay, I'll teach your Pokemon. All right, let's go ahead and teach somebody else Mega Kick. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Five out of the six Pokemon can learn it. And uh, you know what? I'm gonna teach that to. I'm gonna teach that to Aaliyah right here because. It needs an extra attack that, you know, can actually pack a wall up. So let's go ahead and take away Tail Whip and give it Mega Kick. I know its physical attack is not that great, but it needs another attack to, you know, pretty much hurt somebody. And this guy's like, now we are soulmates in the way of kicking. You should run before you're seen by the deluded nitwit who trains in the only simple punching over there. Wow, you guys are really, like, wow, you guys are brutal. Brutal with your words and stuff. Jesus, can't we all get along? I don't know. Anywho, let's grab this item right here, and as you can see, it is a TM05 Roar, and uh, I'm going to skip over that right there, and uh, there's a Pokemon trainer that we can't get to at the moment, but as you can see, we are getting close to the Cerulean Cave and Cerulean City, and we are in Cerulean City. Yes, sir! Finally, Cerulean City. Anywho, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, another episode will be coming out tomorrow, on Sunday. And uh, hopefully it won't be as long as this one right here. It might be. I don't know. I'm doing things differently. I really don't care. Anywho, guys, stay tuned. I'll be back for another episode tomorrow. See you guys.